Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert. There's a meme going around, and if you haven't seen it already, it goes a little bit something like this. Alexa, intruder alert! Performing ridiculous and pointless tasks of literally no value whatsoever. <laughs> This is not complicated, it's very easy. Uh, we can use routines to do this, and I'll show you how in a moment, if you're the sort of person that wants to talk to this thing when there are marauders in your house, which is just weird, um, if you're the sort of person that would rather use one of these to trigger that chain of events, uh, a PIR sensor, whilst you're not in the house, that would be actually useful. Um, I'm going to show you how to do both. We're going to start with the basic way, because I'm sure there are loads of people that think this is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> um, it's really easy, just open up the Amazon app, go to the menu button top left, and click on Routines, because it is a routine that does this. Uh, you will need to be able to already have She That Shall Not Be Named control things like light switches or lights. Uh, you could watch this video if you want to, <laughs> sorry, this video, if you want to be able to do that, I'll show you how. Uh, and all we're going to do is we're going to add a routine by pressing the plus button, and we're going to say, when this happens, I say, intruder alert or red alert, or whatever it is you want to be able to say. Save, and then add action, because we want it to then do something when I say those words. Uh, and then we're just going to go to Smart Home, and we're going to pick one of the things that we have already set up. So I'm going to say, Control the Device. I'm going to say I want the left light, it's one of my Philips Hue lights, and I want the power to come on. Next. It'll turn the lights on. Brilliant. I could then add an action to turn them off, and then another action to turn them on, and it would go off and on, and it would be very exciting, I'm sure. Um, I'm going to also have her say something, so we need to press the plus button again, and then say, she says, custom phrase, and that phrase is, Get out of my flipping house, your place. Next, add, save. That's done. Very, very easy. Right, now that nonsense is out of the way, I'm going to show you how you can generate that series of events using this thing. Or in fact, any PIR sensor, as long as it is capable of sending notifications to an Android device. Uh, this one can be bought in the description if you're interested. What we're going to do is we're going to use some software called Tasker. Now, I've shown this to my followers quite a few times now. Uh, but basically, if you don't know what Tasker is, Tasker is Android software that sits on your mobile phone or your tablet, or in fact, any Android device device listening for things. Uh, if it hears a thing, it does a thing, and it's that simple. So you, it could be listening for the sun going down, and in return it could switch on your Philips Hue bulbs. That is something it can do. It could listen for a text message from a specific person, and it could read it out via your Echo Dot or your Google Home speaker. Wow. Tasker is a brilliant piece of software, but it needs to be on an Android device. Stop leaving. You've got an Android device somewhere, I know you have. Uh, either an old phone will do, or a tablet, or even a Fire stick, or in my case, my NVIDIA Shield. There is one caveat to all of this. You must install all of the things I'm about to show you on an Android device that stays in your house. If you put it on your mobile phone, and then you leave the house with your mobile phone, then your mobile phone is no longer in your house to be able to shout at burglars and switch lights on, obviously. Uh, so install this on something like an NVIDIA Shield or an old tablet or whatever. Uh, the second thing is, uh, the program we're going to use, Tasker, needs to be able to control things like your Philips Hue or your Broadlink device. And so you're going to need a plugin from the Play Store that will do those things. Um, I am going to use Auto Hue to control my Philips Hue lights, but you could use the RM plugin to be able to control Broadlink devices. Uh, if you want to see how to control Broadlink devices using the RM plugin, you can go here. So now we have everything installed we need, we're going to open up Tasker uh, and we're going to start creating things. So on the left we've got profiles, which are the things it's listening for, and on the right we've got tasks, which is the things it does when it hears the things it's listening for. Uh, so I'm going to create a task by pressing the plus button, uh, and I'm going to call this task... Intruder. Task. Very original. Um, and then I press the plus button. Uh, and scroll down to plugin because it's the auto hue plugin I'm going to use first. Uh, so I'm going to click on auto hue, uh, and then hue 2.0 is the one you need. And then I'm going to press the configuration button. Uh, so it's telling me to select my bridge. I don't have one yet, so I'm going to press the plus button uh, and press the search icon. And it's now asking me to select my bridge, which is there. And it wants me to press the link button. I'm going to go do that. It has the bridge now, it can control it. So I'm going to press back. 
So now I have the option to choose which lights are going to be affected by my task, and I'm going to choose both my right and left lights. Uh, and I'm going to go to set alert. And then choose blink for 15 seconds, so they'll just flash on and off. Obviously, if you just want them to come on, you just press the power button and then press power. Uh, simple as that. Uh, that is it. I'm going to press back. And it is now configured. If I press back again and press the play button, my light starts to flash. Super, super easy. That is our task created. So if I go back now, uh, I have an intruder task at the bottom, which I can edit at any time by clicking on it and then adding things to it. Uh, so I could add, and I'm going to add, uh, her saying something. So I'm going to say, say, and then the words. Get out of my house, Jack. And then press back. And now when I press play, the light will flash and... Get out of my house, jerk. Get out of my house, jerk. So I now have a task that does those two things. I could add and add and add. I could make this task be absolutely enormous if I wanted to. Uh, so I could go to plugin and then choose the RM plugin for Broadlink. And then configure that using a selected code, one of my old things. Vacuum on. <laughs> okay. Tick the box. Come back. And now it'll do three things. It will say, get out of my house, jerk. It will make my Philips Hue light flash, and it will start my vacuum cleaner going, which will definitely frighten the burglar out of the house. So now that we've created our task, all we need to do is create a trigger, which is going to trigger that task. Uh, so if I press the back button and tick the box, it saves our task, and we can then go into profiles to begin that process. But before we do that, you need to download one more piece of software, which I'd forgotten to tell you to download, called Auto Notification. If you go to the Play Store and download Auto Notification now, I will wait. I won't really wait. That would be rubbish. Uh, rubbish joke. I've done that so many times now. Uh, so if I press the plus button and go to Event, because we want an event to trigger our task, uh, and then choose from the plugins, Auto notification intercept because we want it to intercept our notification and then trigger our task. And then press the edit button at the top. We're now going to choose action type and then created because we only want it to occur when a notification is created. And then choose apps and scroll down until you find the application that is going to generate your notification. So in my case, it's Smart Life because it's a Smart Life app that sends me notifications when there is movement detected. And then press OK. And then scroll down to notification at title and put in the notification title as it appears on the screen when the notification occurs. So in my case, it always says someone. I'm going to say I only want uh, this app when it gets a notification that says someone to then trigger my task. So I'm going to tick the box at the top and then back out of my event. And then it says well, which task do you want me to trigger when that happens? And the answer is our intruder task. And then tick the box, and we're done. Let's try it. Get out of my house, jerk. We're basically done, but there is just one problem with what I've done so far, and that is that my NVIDIA Shield is now filled with notifications that say someone, 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 which is weird. I don't want that. So I'm going to go to tasks and into my intruder task, and I'm just going to add one more thing. So I press the plus button here and go to my plugins and auto notification and choose cancel. I can tell it to cancel the notification once it's committed the task. So I'm going to press the configuration button. Uh, I'm going to say OK to the warning message. And I'm going to find apps and choose my Smart Life app and press OK. And just say anything that comes through with the title of someone. OK. Press back. Take the box. Press back. Cancel it. So that's it. So it'll do those things and they'll cancel the notification. Uh, if I go back and tick the box and then test that theory. Get out of my house, jerk. And the notification should be dismissed. Which it is. This is what's known in the industry as a basic bitch. Uh, basically, if you get like a smart things equivalent of this, then the smart things equivalent can be set to specific schedules and set to come on when you switch your lights off, those sorts of things. This thing is basically on all the time unless you go into their app and switch it off in the app. 
and vice versa. Uh, not very automated, but again, that's where Tasker comes really in handy because this thing's mega cheap and I can make it do whatever I want by adding things to my profile. Uh, so the auto notification is just one caveat. If I hold down on it, I can add another caveat. So I'm going to click add. Uh, and I'm going to choose days of the week by just going to day and then choosing weekday and saying I only want it to happen Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And I'm going to go back and add another caveat. I'm going to say I only want it to happen, add time from, I don't know, 8 in the morning, 8.34 will do, to 4.34. And then go back, tick the box, and now this will actually only take place between those times. Genius. But Paul, all of the sound is coming out of here instead of here because you suck. Um, I know, I am sorry about that. All you have to do is go into the She That Shall Not Be Named app, go into the menu icon, go to settings, and then device settings, and find your Echo Dot. Mine is called Furry Hamburger because I'm terribly immature. Um, I'm then going to go into Bluetooth devices and then pair a new device, uh, and it will tell you to make sure your device is in pairing mode, so I'm going to go do that. Pair a new device, go W5B, it is now pairing, pair. Connected to Ryzeon 939. So now this is paired to this, all of the audio that comes out of this comes out of this instead. Uh, so if you have paired a tablet or other Android device to this thing, it will come out of here instead, if that's what you want. Awesome. That is it, Bob is indeed your uncle. Uh, if you check this video out, I actually go into a lot more depth as to what's possible with this, using if this then that instead. Um, what I did, I filmed it a long time ago, so nobody saw it. Uh, but I found ways of making it so that you could set the alarm with this. Uh, it would then start monitoring for movement on a webcam on a tablet, uh, and record the movement. Um, and then you would be able to disable the alarm using this, um, and in fact an NFC tag using your phone from outside of the building, which was crazy. Uh, it did all the same stuff, it yelled at burglars and it switched lights on, and it was super cool. Uh, if you want to check it out, like I say, it's there. Uh, it's a lot more involved than this, this is super basic, and this is a great way of doing this. So, the choice is yours. Do it in 10 minutes, do it in half an hour, up to you. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. Uh, come hang out with me in these places, and if you want to make these videos a possibility like these amazing people here, you can do so at either Patreon or PayPal, and I'll see you next time. You've probably seen the meme already, but if you haven't... Ever haven't? When you weren't in the house, which is when normally there will be beautiful burglars, that they are cancelled as they arrive, so it'll carry out. <laughs>